Hey guys, sorry I haven't done any tutorials for a little while, but I am preparing a more advanced set of tutorials. Uh, we've run the, over the basics and I'll put a link where are we? over here somewhere so that you can, if you want to have a look at the basics again, you can. There are two questions that people ask me a lot. One is, what is better? High definition, standard definition, which should I go for? Well, I've put things up before and said this. If you've got a camera, use it. It doesn't matter if it's a little handy cam or a tape-driven, steam-powered, wind-up clockwork camera from the Middle Ages, as long as it gives you a picture so you can practice and learn, that's all you need. The other question, excuse me, is how do I get good sound? Well, I'm going to do a little tutorial now on how to get good sound using Adobe Audition. First of all, you've got to think of your mic. Now, I don't like using the mics that come with the cameras because I'm sure that the manufacturers think we are dumb idiots who couldn't tell good sound if it came up and slapped us on the face with a wet fish. So, I always say to people, if you're looking for a camera, get one with a mic socket and then get a half decent mic. For this, I'm using this, which is a, a fairly good quality wireless mic. But, if you notice, there is background noise. If you listen carefully, you can hear it there, background noise. So, let's go over and have a look. So here we are in Adobe Premiere. You can see that I've got the film and everything in the timeline ready. But I've got that sound in the background, which I want to get rid of. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and right click on in the timeline on the sound. I'm going to open in Adobe Audition or edit in Adobe Audition, depending which version of Adobe Premiere you're using. Wait a few seconds for that to open up. Now we're in Adobe Audition, you can see your sound wave nice and clearly. You want to select a small portion of the sound where you are not speaking. As you can see, there are unwanted bits in there that you can see, and you don't really want them in there. So, now you've selected that, you want to go to Effects, Noise Reduction, and you want to capture noise point. This captures the sound you don't want. Now we're going to select all, which is Control A or Apple A if you're using a piece, uh, a Mac. And again, go to Effects, Noise Reduction, and this time you want to go to Noise Reduction again. These two sliders, I would recommend playing about with them because on some types of audio, especially if you've got some sort of background noises, it will take, when you take them out and put them at full noise reduction, then you will find you start sounding a bit like a robot or sort of like an alien tint to you. Or in some cases, you might get a bit of an echo, which you don't want in good sound, unless you want a bit of sound with echo, I suppose. But yeah. Now we've done that, we're going to press OK and you can see it working away. Now it's done. It's got rid of the sound, the bad sound out of it, the background that you don't want. So now you've done that, you've got the background sound out. So I'm going to let you know what I usually do. I again go to Effects, go to Amplitude and Compression, 
and I go to dynamic processing and I choose in here in this drop down menu up the top here I choose Compander. Make sure that you click on this little box here which says spline curves. It gives it, gives it a nice curve to the sound. Press OK to that. Let that work a while, a little while. And there we go. You've noticed your sound wave has got thinner. So now I go to, again, effects, amp uh, amplitude and compression. And this time I choose the multiband cro uh, curve, the multiband compressor. Sorry, I'm putting my teeth in here. Uh, in this, I usually choose Pop Master. If we click Apply on that. So now you can hear that there is a nice sound to my voice and to the audio. There is no background sound, background noises. So it's a good, acceptable sound. Now you have a good sound to your film. I will do more on sound in another tutorial and I'll explain about capturing uh, room sound and room noise and why you do it, especially if you've got a dialogue between two people and you're cutting shots between two people. But for now, you've got good sound. Remember, if you've got not that great a quality picture, but you've got good sound, people will watch it. But if you've got a great picture and really bad sound, people aren't going to be interested. So go out, do some filming, do a response video down here, comment, rate if you like it, and I will see you next time. Bye.